What is up guys, Computer MD of Gilbert here, and in today's video, I'm going to uh, help clear up uh, another topic that I've done a lot of, um, that's a very hot topic right now. Uh, the two hot topics right now I can tell you are how to build a paid membership website on Wix, which I'm working, almost have a solution to find you guys another method um, to work around what Wix has right now, as it doesn't have a direct system for it. And then today's video, which is how to add a sub page button and really how to create a multilingual website in Wix because what is happening is I'm teaching everyone how to create um, a sub page uh, with this multilingual method here in Wix however people are getting very confused um, and I understand it I understand how it can be confusing so I'm here to kind of clear that up a little bit now I'm not gonna go over step by step kind of how I showed you how to build a multilingual website um, if you guys are interested in seeing that and you're already you're not at this step yet um, I have a link in the description below for my most recent up-to-date how to build a multilingual website uh, Here in Wix that video in the description below However, I'm going to show you guys how to add a sub page using the buttons um, Once you get to that point with the multilingual website I will run you through the quick steps briefly but I'm not gonna go in depth like I did in my last video as I'm showing you something different um, and new with the whole multilingual website thing guys before we get into that come check out these weekly Wix tips Wix my website.com link in the description below um, get on this email list uh, we have our blog and our uh, community which is our forum um, guys things are going really well with that people are interacting the blog is going good I should have another blog post up within the next day or so um, If you want to read more about me come check that out again Wix my Don't forget to check it out link in the description below, but let's get into this video So we're here in our Wix editor. We're just gonna add a new page You're gonna go to the Wix app market, and this is how you would add the multilingual website You're just gonna type in Wix Language and you'll see right here Wix language menu. You'll click that you'll then click add to site Once you do that you'll get a, a couple different flags and you'll get to choose your language Obviously, I'm American English and then whatever two languages or combination of languages you have is what you would use for your website So you're just gonna come in here double click that and then you'll see this again This is where I'm not gonna go that in depth because I've already shown you guys this but first, all the pages that you want translated, you need to duplicate. So you need to come in here to the page menu and duplicate the pages. Again, I'm not going to show you all this in depth. You can watch my most recent video on that. So you need to make sure all the pages you want translated are duplicated. If you want your entire website translated, you need to duplicate every page on your website. Then you would click done. Once you do that, you actually need to translate the content on those pages. So all of the pages that you duplicated, you need to have one in one language and one in the other. Once you have done that, you'll click done. And then you need to create a new site menu. Now this is where people get mixed up. Before I show you this, I'm just going to click done and show you this as well because people have been having trouble with this. You then need to add your languages to the site. So you're going to press go. Now here you'll see right right here um, you'll see two things you'll see all the languages you have on here and then and you can also see you can add more languages so you're not limited to only two you can add as many as you want and then you need to select the home page for each of these languages so for the say Spanish home page you need to select your Spanish home page which is your duplicated page that's translated in Spanish for your English home page you need to have the home page that's in English and you need to do this because this is important because I will show you next what you have to do so for your redirect settings it's easiest in my opinion to automatically redirect all visitors bit by their language so if their browser you can see right here uh, based on their browser settings so if their browsers in Spanish it will automatically redirect them to the Spanish home page on the Spanish home page you need to have a button menu now guys, this is what I would select right here. You can choose with the default languages for your website But now let me get into what we're kind of doing in this video So I know this is a lot of information um, And again, if you're confused about anything I've already just talked about go watch my most recent up-to-date video This is more about the button menu So this is what I would select but now for each home page you need a button menu 
And what I mean by a button menu is you need to come in here to add. You need to add a button. We'll just go with this right here. Once you add that button, this button right here is going to be a page. So instead of having your traditional menu like this, this horizontal menu right here, you need to create a button menu because it's not default to this horizontal. So a button menu is its own entity. To add other buttons and to make your life easier, you'll just click on this, come over here, press copy, and then press paste. So then you have the same button, same size right there. And these will be for all of your pages uh, in that language. So your English pages will have their own button menu. Your Spanish pages or whatever language you're using will have its own menu. So you can see there are two different menus. So you actually have to manually create a bet button menu for each language and each page on there. Now here's where people are having trouble. People are saying, how do I add a sub page? Or like, I have a sub page on my website. How do I add a sub page in a button menu? This is gonna seem funny, but this is exactly how you do it. You would simply copy it and paste it again. And then the easiest way I can tell you is kind of indent it like that, make it an indented button menu. And then there, it looks like it's a sub page. And I know that's a pain, but that's how you have to do it right now. You literally just create a sub button instead of a sub page like a drop down. So it's like a drop down, but it's a sub button and they would just click that because it's there under the home page. And for every, for every sub page you have, just put a sub button. Now I'm going to be honest with you, Wix needs to update this system. It, this gets bulky, it gets messy, it gets a little unorganized. I don't like it, but it's what we have to work with right now. Again, I understand this seems a little confusing, but I hope this makes sense for the people that have been asking this question a lot. So to create a sub button, you would create your regular button menu like I showed you in my last up to date video. And then you just create a smaller button and uh, offset it under the regular button for the designated page that it's the sub page for. So if you have a sub page on maybe like a shop page or something, you would simply come put it right there under the shop page and it would be acting as a sub page for that. Again, using a button. And that is how you create the button menu. Guys, I hope this video gave you a little bit of insight into how to add sub pages and sub button pages, I guess you could say, uh, into your multilingual website. Again, I'm, I hope to update this even further when Wix updates more and I may even need to make another video on this to help explain it more. Um, it's all dependent upon you guys. Uh, I realized after I made my last one that uh, I still had a ton of questions and that's when I know I need to update again and make another video. So I hope this helped you out. Again, if you're looking for the complete system on how to make your multilingual website, check out my last video which is in the description below. This video is kind of like a follow-up to that that helps you uh, learn how to put the sub button into your button menu on your multilingual website. If this video helped you out, please drop me a like down below. Comment if you have any questions at all. As you can see, they help me gauge what I need to do and how I need to help you guys. So please comment if you have any questions. And don't forget to subscribe to me here on Computer MD of Gilbert. Finally, guys. Don't forget to go to wixmywebsite.com, link in the description below. Go to my website. I have a ton of helpful Wix resources on there, including blog posts, a community of people ready to help you, including myself, um, and just my weekly Wix tips email list that's there to help you. Guys, thank you for watching this video, and I'll catch you on the next one.